Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to do an overview review of a program called XR Photo. Uh, XR Photo is a uh, photo management piece of software uh, that uh, uses AI to find photos and it also uses AI to keyword your photos. It's not absolutely perfect uh, but it's very very good and it saves a lot of time particularly in keywording uh, which would take you a long time to do manually uh, so I'm going to show you uh, a couple of demos of uh, kind of what it what it does and where it makes mistakes and how to correct some of the mistakes uh, so we're I've already uh, indexed all of these photos I've added the folders it takes a while depending how how many photos you have in a particular fo uh, folder. So we're going to go to keyword up here. Let me click this. This is from a previous search. Uh, so I can just type a keyword up here. Or I can pick one of these keywords down here. And these are keywords that it's already uh, put in. Uh, when it analyzed uh, the folders that I I use for this demo, and so uh, these are photographic terms and things about the photograph, such as it has sepia tones in it. Is it colorful? Is it aerial photography? And here are content things like is it an animal? Is it architecture, etc. And uh, some of these have, uh, or a bunch of them have, uh, subcategories. So if we go to musical instrument here, you'll see these are the musical instruments that I found. I'm going to add by clicking this plus piano over here and we're going to do a search on piano and it brings up pictures of piano that it found and so if I double click on this particular um, image it brings it up bigger up at the top here it has the rating systems in it that you can go number of stars, a color, assign it a color, or assign it a, a flag for uh, accept or reject, uh, much like Photoshop. Um, and uh, it also has metadata down here that you can look at. But over here are the keywords that it assigned. And uh, it actually made a mistake here because this is a piano. This does have to do with music. It's a musical instrument. It's made out of wood. But this is not an electronic keyboard. This is is a regular acoustic piano. So that's, uh, that's kind of a mistake there. Unless you want to leave that in there to include that for whatever reason. It would be up to you. But... To me, it's not an electronic keyboard, and that's a more specific thing, so I'm going to click the X there and get rid of that. I can also, if I want, add a key, uh, a key keyword keyboard to it. Now, once again, it's up to me. Now, I might not want to put that because I might only want, like, computer keyboards in keyboards, but I also might want any type of keyboard. In keyboard so I can put that in there so it's up to, to you um, which keywords you keep and which ones you add to it so uh, it's very flexible as far as that goes if we right click on the image we can open with any editor that w we have on the computer and uh, we can close this out too uh, so that's kind of just a quick overview of how it makes keywords and uh, and uh, how to search for keywords. Uh, the other thing, there are a few other things we can do up here. We can, we can go, I'm going to go to this demo collection here. And these are different photos. A lot of these photos I, I downloaded from Pixabay, which is has free photographs. Because I wanted a collection of a bunch of various ones for this demo right here. We can go to find faces. Um, in this 
And so if we go to find faces, we can specify, um, right now it's just general, it's any face. Uh, we can actually put the person's age, uh, if they're male or female, and so on. So let's just do a, uh, a uh, search just generally on faces. So it pulls up any picture with a face in there, basically. Uh, now if we go back, bring back up the full collection, and let's go back to faces and say we wanted to if we wanted only male faces we could click on that and it brings up male faces now this is a picture with two people in it we can specify how many people are uh, it looks for like if we just want one person or multiple people and there is a male face in here but there's of course a female face in in these pictures as well um, Uh, so we can specify if, if, if we wanted to eliminate that entirely. Uh, so let's go back to the collection again. We can also change it to, to female face. And we can, this is a kind of a, a slider, a continuum. So, so this is all the way to the most male looking face and the most female looking face. And so, uh, you can adjust that as well. You can kind of fine tune it, um, because some women have more masculine faces and some men have more feminine faces. So, uh, we'll just start the search for female right here. And then it brings up all these female. Once again, we get this picture in here. Uh, but if we went back up here to uh, faces and we just specified one face or single portrait, when we redid it, that picture is gone. Now, right here, there's in this picture, there's a man in the background, but there's no he, his face doesn't show. Uh, so, so it does it still includes this one right here. So those are some of the things you can do as far as portraits go. Uh, if we go... Let me just reset this back to the demo. If we go and we select a photo like this, we can also go up here to find people and it will actually look for for photos of this this woman. So if we do a search here real quick, it brings up all the photos of this woman that are in that collection as well. All right, one more demo here we'll do on this, this folder right here, and we're gonna go to find duplicates. We can loosen up the similarity threshold or make it very strict. Very strict will only find pretty much exact duplicates. Very loose will find similar photos that you might have taken uh, um, that look look similar to the uh, to each other basically so let's uh start the search here and it, it takes a minute uh depending on how many uh, photos you have in your folder so we're going to show duplicates and it found three and these are actual exact duplicates because they're the same photograph but the photograph was copied and given a different file name so it's actually it's actually found exact duplicates that have different file names or slightly different file names on it. Now one more keyword search that I will do is uh, under vehicle here. I'm going to go to helicopter. We're going to do a search on that. And it did find pictures of helicopters in here, but there are a few with just planes, and there are so many planes in here, it might have gotten confused. Also, if we blow this up, there's this wing over this one that almost looks like it might be a helicopter prop, and that this might be a helicopter. So, uh, or, or that's what I'm thinking it might have thought. So, it does make mistakes, but once again, if we go in here, we can take helicopter out of here.
so we can fix those mistakes. But it does save a lot of time because uh, it would take you a long time to manually add keywords to all of these different things. Uh, so it's so it's a really good program. I'm sure as the the versions of it in the future as they improve it, there will be less and less mistakes in the keywords and such. But it can become slightly confused. But it still saves a lot of time because even if we get these extraneous um, airplane photos right here, we can take the keyword out for helicopter. And we've still found what we're looking for. And even when you do a search of something anyway, uh, whatever you do a search for, the important thing to remember is a lot of you're going to get results that you don't want anyway. So if a result that you don't want has a helicopter in it, but it's not the type of helicopter you were looking for, um, it's, it's still not the result you want. So having a few airplanes in with the helicopters, uh, isn't as big of a deal as it might appear to be uh, if you were just grading it strictly on how accurate it was. I'm Dean and this is Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.